Welcome to the Swampy Shop. We're gonna make some fridge magnets today. And also we've got a special announcement coming up. Okay, so we're getting ready to make some fridge magnets. Now we do it by sublimation. So this is the oven. So I'm just setting up the printer now. So I'm gonna print 15 scale. I'm gonna change that to 10%. That's then done. All I've got to then do is go layout, flip it over because we're going to print onto them, and then click print. And that'll be your more printing coming out of print in a minute. So now we've just printed the first one out, and you probably realise it's everything is back to front. The reason why. Is that is the surface we're going to transfer that onto so that has to go on there like that so we're going to center it up so we're happy with it and we just get the pen and just mark the extremities of it and then we do that for all of them and then we can cut it out with the guillotine and then we stick them back down onto here all right, so now we're cutting them out. So we've marked them so we know where the edges of them are. So we go, just get the gelatin, cut it. Now we spin them round now and we make them into little squares. And then we put the squares up there and ready for the next stage. Okay, so now we've got the MDF with the sublimation stuff on it so now we're going to get this and we've put that onto there we centerize it up so we get it nice near the edge yeah i'm happy with that then we get special tape so this is heat proof tape it doesn't leave any residue we can get it really hot if you use normal cellar tape you'd end up with a huge sticky mess because this thing is going to be going on at about 180 c so then that is what we end up with it finished. So we've got all the green bit is covering up and the image is in the middle. And then once that's finished warming up, we can put it into the printer oven to make these into a fridge magnet. Okay, so I'm just emptying the next load out. Now these are really hot when they come out, but we want to try and do this really quick because we don't want it to go too cold. So this thing is up at 185 and it's got two heating elements in it. So there's one heating element in the bottom and there's another heating element in the top. So then we've just got to sort them out quickly. We're still up at 185. Next, we've got to load the next ones in. We put them onto the little spreader plates and you'll see what happens in a minute. because this is actually under vacuum. So we're going to vacuum all these down to suck the paper onto the sublimation printer, onto the sublimation media, which is this time is MDF. Okay, so we got them all loaded in. Put the glove back on now. So look, we've already dropped to 180. 100 and... So then we hit the vacuum button. And if you watch the top now, you'll see all this suddenly start to get sucked down. There we go, look, and now we're sucking, making sure all the paper gets sucked all the way on. Try and get the wrinkles out. And now we can close the lid, hit the timer, and we cook them for four minutes. Okay, okay so that's what is finished. So we take them all them out, chuck them over here quickly. And then we load the next lot in, and then I can show you what they look like. Once I've finished. Right, now some of these have cooled down. So these ones have already done. So now we just unwrap them. And there you go. And you also, you probably notice the difference in the color. So if I just get... You can see when it prints, it actually changes the color. So that looks quite washed out. When you actually print them, the ink gets a little evened up by the heat when it transfers onto there. All we have to do then next is put the sticky on the back and then it becomes a fridge magnet. Now we're up to making it in a fridge magnet. So these are the magnetic bits. 
quite simple, just get that, get it centered up in the middle, push down. That's it, they're all done. Boom. <laughs> Okay, so we've got a huge announcement. People have been asking this for absolutely ages. When are we going to get a Swamp Thing toy? I can officially reveal that we have one at last. Um, it's taken a lot to get this far. Um, so pleased how it comes out. Now, we are going to be taking these up to Scotland and to the UK Monster Nationals. But we are going to put a few of them on, on our website um, so you can get them now. So we designed the box, we designed everything on these. So the box is quite cool. So when you take it out of the box, it's even got a picture of Santa Pod in the background of us going over the cars. But this is the truck. I really, really like it. So it's got full moving suspension. Um, it's really, really well made. I'm so pleased how they come out. We had to get pay extra. We wanted the chrome wheels with the green band on it. We had to get that done. Um, yeah, really pleased how it comes out. Now, you might be thinking, well, why isn't it the chrome version of what the Monster Truck is at the moment? The truck is only going to be chrome for one year. We had to order a lot of these to get these made. Um, and it's going to go back to this color next year. So if you want to get one of these now, come and see us for one of the shows, or we're gonna put a few online on swampthing4x4.co.uk. And if you want to see something really, really special, click this button here to watch our advert that Georgina has recreated one of our very first TV appearances with the truck.